Before real estate, um, I actually worked at a newspaper as a photographer and then started a family and uh, did that for many, many years and then uh, started to buy properties, uh, you know, for income, um, keep them, rent them and all that good stuff. Before real estate, I have been in the gym industry for about uh, since the year 2000 in different management capacities. Previous to that, I was a surgical tech for about a year in another state and then came here and just didn't happen with uh, children. Before real estate, I was an elementary school teacher and I really enjoyed that profession, but then when I moved to the Cape, um, I chose real estate because it was more flexible and I loved it because it added in that people, working with people um, component as well as some office work, but it was a nice balance between the two. And so I found real estate to be a really great job for me and my family. Before real estate, I used to, I was a um, full-time mother of three for um, probably 15 years. Then my husband's been in the um, building business for 20 years. Um, we decided that we were going to start flipping homes and I met a woman that told me, she said, you know, you buy so many properties from me, you might as well get your um, real estate license. So that's what I did. I went and got my real estate license and every deal that I've done for my husband and I has been through me. So that's how I started the whole real estate thing. Before real estate, I went to UMass Amherst and I studied criminal justice thinking that was exactly what I wanted to do, be a cop or in the FBI like my dad. And when I put it to practice after I graduated, I was a summer officer and a reserve officer in Orleans for three years and it was not for me at all. So I did basically a 180. I started teaching kids with special needs. Um, by year three, when my eyes started twitching constantly, I decided that wasn't for me either. And at the time, my husband and I, or my fiance at the time, were looking into buying a home. So we called on a Griffin Realty Group sign. Uh, someone came out to meet us, and we just kind of went from there. And we looked at a bunch of homes um, with that agent, and it was so seamless that the whole process from start to finish, I decided that I could do this. So I just left my job and started working and selling real estate. Anyway, I decided it was time, you know, to, kids were all through college, I didn't need that income as much each month, and it was, you know, I had eight properties, it was getting a little overwhelming, so I uh, decided to start selling them and then thought about getting my license, and um, my daughter had actually met Danny Griffin and his beautiful wife Julie and babysat their five children for a long time so I got to know Danny and Julie and uh, John, Danny's brother and so John and I worked together for many years and, and anyway so I thought well, I'll get my license and we'll give it a try and Danny was kind enough to, to take me on and, and kind of help me through the process here and so I'm really enjoying it. I became interested in real estate through just people saying that they thought it was something that I should consider doing over the last 20, 30 years and I just never really looked into it. I was busy raising children and uh, then one day a friend of mine approached me and said that I should consider it so here I am. Even though I used the real estate license to purchase properties to flip homes, I then started to like to tour homes. I started going on all the MLS tours and I started looking at all different types of homes. So I started meeting a lot more different people and I'm a people kind of person and I get you know into conversations with people and um, I just love meeting people and that's what intrigued me to sell real estate. The challenge of real estate that I like is probably just meeting all sorts of different people and kind of figuring out what they want and what I can do to help because I just really enjoy it. I enjoy the work. I enjoy interacting with people. It's a job where no transaction is ever the same. So I like that. It keeps it fresh. It keeps it exciting. And it also affords me the luxury of staying home with my girls. 
I think I'm good at this because I have a lot of customer service background, dealing with a lot of people and especially negative issues. And I was, um, I kind of excelled in problem solving, resolving issues. People would tend to come to me where other people might dismiss them or not be able to handle the problem. Um, and a lot of details and just a fast paced day. I like every day to be different, so I'm always learning and it's not just the same old thing day after day. I like helping people buy and sell real estate because to me, your home is where the heart is. And so I feel like if I can help someone on that journey to find their perfect home, it's more of a privilege for me than it is even for them. And I also feel like in real estate, it is an emotional journey. So in a lot of ways, I can support them through those ups and downs and it kind of brings in that side of, of my personality. And um, yeah, I just, I love, I love that about real estate. I really like helping people because I, I communicate well with people. I guess I'm a kind of a likable person and I get a lot more from um, talking with somebody, I get a lot more out of that person and I can kind of figure out the type of home that they want, which intrigues me because I want to help them find that type of home that fits their lifestyle, not just my lifestyle, but their lifestyle. I like helping people with real estate because a lot of people just have no clue, which I had no clue when I started. And I thought I had an idea, but you don't. And even Folks that are, you know, seasoned in buying and have bought several homes, they still need someone who does it all the time. So I just like being that person. And at the same time, I'm always learning. I definitely don't have all the answers in any way. So I like that as well. When I'm not helping people buy and sell real estate, I'm a caretaker for um, my parents and for my daughter at home. When I'm not selling real estate, I am with my family, with my, I have two older children that are in college, I have a youngest daughter that's going to be a freshman in high school, um, and we're kind of doing family things. Now we're starting to travel a little bit, um, it's a little bit easier traveling with older children than it is with younger children, so we're enjoying that part of um, our family life. When so. I'm not doing real estate, I'm home with my girls and have plenty of time to do what I want to, and this is a job where you can make it into a nine to five, but it really isn't. So what you put in, you definitely get back, but you just have to be able to focus yourself. So there are definitely times where I drop the ball and I don't follow up and I don't do my tasks, basically, and I see that down the road. So it's a lot of managing of yourself. I'm proud to be part of, you know, the group. And so anyway, I'm really happy about that. I'm happy I'm a Griffin. <laughs> I'm happy I'm a Griffin. I'm happy I'm a Griffin. I'm happy I'm a Griffin.